uh, Ubuntu. So I'm going to show you how to mount them in Ubuntu. Um, so I've opened a terminal. If you haven't got terminal open, you go up to the top of this is Unity, the default uh, window manager. Up here, type in term. Terminal will show up. Click on that. Make that a bit bigger with Control Shift and X, and sorry, Control Shift and equals. So I want to get into this folder here. So I go to CD Desktop Huddle Stuff. See what's in there. Now I need to go into the Huddle System with Sue folder, and then I do a ls. Now, at the top, um, ignore, ignore all the other stuff apart from this. At the top, I've got this file called Modico System Image Rooted .img. I want to mount that. What mounting means is, imagine um, imagine a disk image is an ice cube, and frozen inside the ice cube is the file system. It's all just locked in there, frozen. When you mount it, it's like defrosting the ice cube to, to liquid, so you can actually access... Um, add, remove stuff, move stuff around inside the water, which are the, the, the water is the file system and the files are, say, bits of grit, for example. So you're adding and removing stuff and moving it around is moving the, the molecules of grit or the particles of grit inside the water. And when you unmount it, you freeze it again. You're like freezing the water again. So basically a disk image, you can think of, think of it like an ice cube. Yeah, so anyway, I think that's a good analogy. So I want to mount this to a point called mount. If I want to do if I want to do ls mount, it'll tell me what's mounted there. Nothing. So clear the screen, control L, LS. I want to mount this top image here to that point mount. So I do sudo mount. Um, if you do sudo, it means super user do. It means do this as a super user with root privileges. On a live CD, you won't be asked for a password because Ubuntu live CDs do not have passwords. So sudo mount modico system image rooted dot img and then the mount point mount my password. And now if I do ls mount, you'll see. There we have the um, the disk image. This is the disk image that's, that's been pulled off with RK Flash Tool. Um, RK Flash Tool is this. There we go. That's what you're familiar with, hopefully. Um, so yeah, if I do CD mount and then list the directory, you now have full access to the file system within that disk image. So I can create a folder, for example. You have to do this as sudo, though. sudo make directory mat, for example. If you do it now, I do clear the screen, control L, ls. There's now a folder called mat, you see? If I do ls minus la, there it is. Now, what you see here are the, are the permissions. D means it's a directory. rwx, 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 which is... Um, 777 would be read, write, execute for user, group, and other. At the moment, this is just um, 755. Um, what that means is the first bit is 4, the second bit is 2, and the third bit is 1 for user, which is me, Matt, which is, means I've got full permissions, read, write, and execute. Um, group, I've got read and execute, but I can't write. And... Um, other have got to read and execute as well, they can't write. So I can remove that folder. sudo remove with recursive force. Make sure you delete the right folder for goodness sake. Matt, clear the screen. Now then, that's clear, that's removed that folder. So there's no folder called Matt now. Right, so now what I want to do is ls minus la again. I want to go into the app folder. Now, when this disk image is a partition, when it's flashed to a partition on um, your huddle, you will notice that it will be at forward slash system. Now, because this is a disk image of the system, 
were already pre-assumed to be within system because this, this is the disk image of the system. So you're in system already. It's just a, an image of system which is mounted. So you want to go into the app folder, clear the screen. Now let me make this a bit smaller for you. Um, LS, make it a bit, actually, I make the terminal bigger, the text smaller. That's what I'll do. Good old Ubuntu. Minus LA. LS minus LA means list, and minus LA means list all. Sorry, no, that's wrong. LS means list, and minus LA means long and all. So even hidden files and a long description. There we have all your APKs. Now, I can rename something here. For example, you see youtube.apk here. I can I can rename that. Temp.apk. What I'm doing is the MV means move. It's sudo is obviously super easy to do. Um, root privileges. sudo move youtube.apk temp to apk so i'm moving it from one file name to another now do ls minus la again and there it is there temp to apk want to revert that back i go back here i just reverse the uh, parameters i type in sudo move temp to apk youtube to apk Oops. And now you can see it's back to how it was. It's YouTube.apk. So what this does, this mounting this disk image and accessing this folder gives you the means to delete APKs, modify them, um, hide them. Um, I'll actually show you what I did on my um, with my idea stopping the huddle updating itself automatically. I'll show you what I did. Right. So I'll go back to the home directory, cd tilde. I'll do sudo umount, which means unmount, mount. So I'm telling it to super easy to do as root. I'm telling it to unmount the mount point mount, which obviously is mounting the disk image. So that's now done. I'll do ls mount. It's no longer a file system there because the disk image has been unmounted. That's like the uh, the water being frozen back into ice again. It's like the disk image um, is basically the disk image is saved and stored. So it's basically now a solid block again. It's an image. So if we do cd desktop huddle stuff, okay, clear. If I now um, mount to my image, which is this one here, Modico system image rooted moved OTA client dot image. What a long file name. <laughs> Sudo mount Modico and then mount. And I'll go to CD mount. Two seconds, sorry. So I'm now in there. Now I'll go to app, cd app, ls minus la. You'll see in here there's a folder which I created, a directory, sorry, called moved. That isn't there by default, and it wasn't there in Paul's ROM either, Paul's image. I actually created that folder, that, sorry, that directory, and, and put the, um, I'll show you what I put in there. Oops, sudo cd. Oops, no. CD moved. Ah, you have to do sudo CD moved. Hmm. Sudo su. CD moved. That's better. Yeah, basically, get root access when you're doing this. Instead of typing sudo in all the time, just type in sudo su, enter password, and you'll have root access. I'm now in that folder. So I'm now in mount app moved. There we have OTA client.apk and OTA client.odex. Those the OTA client.apk is the file that was Tesco used to automatically force updates on you. That's what I moved into that move folder and saved it as a disk image. Anyway, 
hope you get the idea. So basically, to recap, what we're doing is, sorry, two seconds. What we're doing is, oh, okay. We are getting the disk image which you've pulled from your device with RK Flash Tool, or which you have um, downloaded. You're mounting it. You're then accessing it, and you can. It's like a file system on your Linux machine. You can modify stuff, delete it, change permissions, and then unmount it, and it's saved in the disk image, which you can then flash back to the huddle. All right. Let me try and unmount this again. Pseudo so, you know, U-mount. You always need to U-mount your image after you've finished mounting it and fiddling around inside the file system. That's better. That's done now. Great. So there you go. Uh, yeah, always unmount your... You always U-mount, which is, as you saw, the pseudo U-mount command. Always U-mount your image after you've finished. Thanks, guys.